And now some more in our breaking news story. Nelson Mandela dead at the age of 95. I want to bring in New York Times column, columnist Nicholas Kristof, who's written about Nelson Mandela, filmmaker Rochelle Oliver, who spoke with Mandela's daughter and granddaughter back in October, and CNN contributor Donna Brazil. Thanks one and all for being here. Nick, you've called him a, a giant in history and a rare leader. Tell us what Mandela was like as a person. Well, he was actually kind of mischievous. Um, he tended, he was very self-deprecating, um, and he had a terrific sense of humor that uh, I think made people around him who regarded him as kind of a, a god figure uh, made him at ease a little bit. But what really struck one was that here is a guy who was not just a political giant, but really a moral giant. And it wasn't just his opposition to apartheid. Uh, it was also his leadership on uh, things like uh, and on reconciliation. It was also his things like leadership on AIDS and HIV, uh, on LGBT rights, which was very unusual uh, for South Africa. Um, and Nick, I just want to interrupt you for one second just to show uh, our viewers that that's the White House flag at half, half staff uh, being lowered having been lowered uh, earlier this evening. Please, please proceed. Yeah, sure, and underscores the degree to which he's, he was not just a leader of South Africa, but really a, a leader for all the world. And, uh, you know, I think he, he particularly embodied a certain amount of self-sacrifice that we, I think there's a lot of frustration globally with political figures who seem to be in it for themselves. And, you know, here's a man who gave up a promising legal career, who gave up uh, 27 years, who refused to be released early, uh, insisted on unconditional release, who uh, separated from his wife uh, because of, of, in part because of, uh, of, of her political behavior, uh, and then limited himself to one term. I mean, he, nobody more than he embodied uh, that kind of uh, self-sacrifice. Rochelle, um, Mandela's daughter said that he was an ex extrovert to the world, but when it came to his own family, awkward. Why do you think that was? I, you know, when I had a chance to speak with uh, the daughter and granddaughter of Nelson Mandela, I found it interesting. One of the comments that the daughter said was that so many people believe that Nelson Mandela fell from the sky. And it stopped me in my tracks because at first I'm like, well, didn't he? Didn't he, <laughs> you know, fall from the sky? He seems like such a larger than, than life uh, person. And, uh, you know, you saw that, that sort of uh, conflict, if you could call it that, between the way the world saw him and the way his family saw him. And I think what they were trying to do, at least in the, the final years of Nelson Mandela's life, was to really humanize him and really make him an, an everyday average guy, which, which is really hard. It's a hard pill to swallow for some of us. Donna, Mandela is also the subject of this new film, Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom. The actor playing him, uh, Idris Elba, has said it was important. We had both sides, the good and the bad. In, in previous movies, I have to say, he's been portrayed as, as fairly perfect. How do you think, um, as we spend the next few days remembering him, uh, how important is it for people to understand, as uh, his, his uh, daughter or granddaughter said, that he didn't fall from the sky? No, uh, I think Mandela said it himself on several occasions that he was not a saint, that he was like any other person. He had, he made mistakes, he had failures, uh, but he was a man of grace, a man of courage, a man who was willing to forgive his enemies and to bring his enemies to the table. I think this new movie really illustrate not just his journey from humble beginnings in a very small village in South Africa to, to rise, to become this international icon. And I think of Mandela, I think of Gandhi, I think of Martin Luther King, men who transform not just their nations, but the world itself. It's an interesting lesson, uh, Nick Kristoff, because um, he tried to make sure so much uh, that how he behaved in public um, was absorbed uh, by, by the masses, that he was watched, that people were following him. And part of that was his humility. And part of that was, as you noted, uh, his belief in reconciliation, his belief in making sure that South Africa um, did not fall apart uh, after apartheid fell. Yeah, I mean, he was a master of symbolism. Um, I don't know that he was a master of actual governance. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, he only had one term, but uh, on issues like crime and education and poverty, um, South Africa did fine, but I think not as well as he might have hoped. 
But where he was truly transcendent was in these overpowering issues of, um, of racial reconciliation, of bringing people together, of preaching patience, of, of working toward a shared economy, um, and also of providing leadership on, uh, later on on conflicts all around Africa and the world, for example. Donna, what does Mandela mean to you personally? Well, he was an inspiration at a time when many of us were growing up and trying to do things in this country to, to basically bring about freedom. He was a symbol of freedom. We fought to end apartheid. That movement really came out of the civil rights struggle where labor leaders and civil rights leaders marched in front of the South African embassy. And when Mandela finally came to the United States to say thank you, it was just a joyful occasion. But he will be remembered as a man who was not afraid to confront his enemies and make his enemies his friends. And Rochelle, same question for you. Uh, what did he mean to you? What made you pursue the project, uh, the, the film that you made with his granddaughter and daughter? Oh, well, when I was interviewing, uh, just to make sure we have it correct, I was interviewing a Nelson Mandela's daughters about uh, a wine, the House of Mandela wine that they, they were touring around the U.S. And, uh, I, you know, I think what, I, what Nelson Mandela definitely means to me is that, you know, he was an, every, he was an everyday guy and he was really supported by his family. and. You know, if you know if he can do that, right? Then I think so many of so many of us can live up to those same values of just integrity and, and character and walking in your truth. Important lessons. Thank you so much, Nick, Rochelle, Donna. We appreciate it. Next, remembrances from around the world, of course, pouring in for Nelson Mandela. We'll share some of them with you.